Hello all, let's continue on what's new in 2023 release wave 2 and today we'll talk about a functional change in the product that is can I change my posting group during posting transactions. Now this feature is uh, as of today only available on the development or should I say sandbox environment. It is not something that you can enable in production environment as of today. Okay, we'll talk about some nuances from the uh, implementation side, what those are, without looking at the code for sure, and we'll understand what this feature brings in. But just remember that this feature is currently available only for developers and can't be turned on yet on production as of this moment. Okay, so what does Microsoft documentation says? It says, Sometimes business want to post payable and receivable transaction to a different GL account. That one that is specified on the customer or vendor posting group. For example, in case where there's a transaction is a bad debt, controllers can define policies for posting those non-standard transaction and accountants can change them during posting. So let's get into the product and try seeing how to use this feature okay so where is my business center here it is so first uh, as in let's understand what this is first okay so let's get into sales and get into sales order so we all understand that when you have to post a sales order there are certain details that comes in from the customer entity and as well as from the line entity we are focusing right now on the header entity which is the customer entity the accounts that will be used during posting of that transaction when I post this is defined on my customer posting group. So if I try to preview post it, if there is inventory and everything available, oh, there's nothing because it is blocked right now. Okay. But are defined on your customer posting group, which is set to disable, and the accounts that will be used are defined here on your customer posting group. So Till now, because it is disabled, you can only set it based on what is set on the customer and that's the only value that you can use. But now what you can do is you can go into your sales and receivable setup. Let's head up there. Sales and receivable setup. And there's a new option added, which is allow multiple posting groups. The tooltip says specifies if multiple posting group can be used for same customer in sales document you can enable that for developers here it says check multiple posting group now it seems and I can be wrong because I haven't seen the code yet but this has been in implemented via interfaces because right now it just says one option alternative groups but you have a flexibility if you want to extend it using defining an another implementation of the same interface so just keep that in mind okay so we've enabled it here and it's also uh, you know you can toggle it on service management setup if you're using uh, service management now let's go back and go to the customer posting group page okay customer posting group what I've already done is I've created two new uh, posting group one is called demo and another is called demo hyphen two let's say okay now what we saw on our sales order is domestic and we were not able to change that option because the feature was not enabled now what i can do here as i enable that feature is on my customer posting group that is selected on those customers where i want to enable this feature i can go into related posting group and define an alternative group so I can come here and I have flexibility to define multiple but just for now I'll just define demo okay and then uh, any customer who have demo can now choose demo uh, customer posting group or sorry domestic posting group or demo posting group because the domestic has been set as domestic have an alternate customer posting group called demo you can add more if needed okay let's see the implication on my sales order so when i come into my sales order go into the same area i still see that it is disabled now what i'm missing 
is I Microsoft have made sure that there is one more level of control to this so when you go into your customer number or customer card you see that there is one more boolean here and let me go there allow multiple posting group so one is you enabled it as an organization and then also within that you can define it per customer that which customer can use it and which customer is not allowed to where users are not allowed to change it so you have a little bit more control to choose which one it is allowed for so let's say i enable it here let's come back to my sales order now if you see as soon as I enable that, the customer posting group is now editable. Now let's try choosing demo 2. Remember, we have set demo as an alternative account for domestic. So let's try changing to demo 2. And we'll get an error. You cannot change the value domestic to demo 2 because alternative account posting group has not been filled in. Okay, so let's refresh this. Can I choose demo? Let's choose that in. And I'm able to. So now, at this point, when I change it on my sales order, the transaction will now check or utilize the values or setups that are done on my customer posting group. Hope that makes sense. But remember, when I was testing this, and consultants into the call or in this meeting can help me to, to correct if I'm saying something wrong. But I cannot revert it back to domestic at this moment. And the reason is, because I have not set domestic as an alternate for my demo account. So what I'll have to do, I'll stick here, I'll go back, open the card, and in the demo, and surprisingly there is no button, so let me open the customer group list, customer posting group list. What I have to do is on demo, I also have to set domestic as alternate so that users can then switch back if they need it. So if I paste that value here, now I can switch between domestic and demo when I need on my document. So now if I go domestic, it should support it. And if I have to change it to demo, I can do it. But you can only do it for the groups which are defined as alternate in the setup if you try choosing another value you will end up with this error message okay what else is here as we said this is not just on the customer side you can enable the similar kind of feature on purchase and payable side it works exactly same now it will allow you to choose alternate posting group and change the customer or vendor posting group when you post sales and purchase documents and even journals. Business Central copies the alternate customer or vendor posting group to the posted documents and journals and post payable or receivable GL entries to GL account specified in the alternative group. So we'll take care of that the way it is implemented. To further control where people can change posting group, you can either set it up um, you will have to set it up at a company level on sales and receivable setup or purchase or payable setup and then you have additional control to handle it per customer or per vendor. With all these conditions met, Business Central allows you to change the posting group on documents in general and ensure that transaction post to the payable or receivable account specified during posting. So it is not just now defined as the setup on your master entities but you can even change it on your transactional level. Remember, as I said in the beginning, this feature is currently available only for developers and can't be turned on yet into production environment. But as we are business central developers and consultant, we need to know that this feature is coming up, hopefully in the next release, and we should be prepared with uh, the requirements that we hear from customer that there is a possible way to solve these kind of business problems. Let me know how you think about this video as comment of this video. If you did like that video, hit the like button. If you think this is something that other consultants and developers should know, which you should think so, do share this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and get notified whenever we post a new video. Your comments are very important. So please keep them coming. This channel feeds on based on your comments. I'll see you sooner than later on the next video on what's new in 2023 to release wave 2. Till then, have a great day and I'll see you soon.